This is the display panel for the Impulse 2.0 system. It's got a really nice button pad that's easy to access without taking your hand off the grip. And everything here is backlit all the time. Uh, they actually have two different versions of this. This is kind of the smaller, more compact version. It's a little bit simpler. And it's on a lot of these you know, city style, uh, trekking uh, type of bikes around town. And so we're looking at a Kalkoff Sawhill right here. And uh, in order to activate this, you just press down on this power button, kind of lights up and says, hello and uh, basically brings us the speed, battery level, power level, there are three, and uh, your trip distance or your odometer. Now, right now we're in miles per hour, but if you wanted, you could change that to kilometers per hour by holding set for a few seconds. So there we go, now we're in kilometers per hour. <clears throat> You'll notice that the battery uh, indicator actually has uh, a, a wide range of bars, so it's not just like three or five, there's, there's several more, and those tighter increments just g give you a more precise understanding of what the battery is capable of, how far you're going to go, which I like, I appreciate that. Um, and given kind of the limited space here, I think they've laid it out pretty well, the most important pieces are right up there on top. And then the third most important piece is your pedal assist level. Um, these systems are pedal assist only. This is a 2015 model that I'm looking at here. So there's, you don't have to worry about a throttle, a twist throttle, a trigger throttle, and that keeps the cockpit clean. And all you really need to worry about again is this, this button pad, which as you can see is kind of glowing. So you can actually turn this thing completely off by arrowing all the way down and you don't see any assists showing up right here. And then this acts as a cycle computer, giving you your speed, your battery level and trip distance. As soon as you arrow up to Eco, you're going to get a little bit of assist and you're going to get the best range. And then of course Sport and Power, which is at the top. And depending on the model, again, whether it's like a city bike like this Kalkoff or if it's like a Focus Jarifa for off-road riding, um, it may or may not have kind of climb assist, which is just an, an additional layer of sensing technology that can be dialed in to be more precise or less precise. So you don't have to push down as much because these systems are speed sensing for how fast your wheel is turning, uh, cadence sensing for how fast the pedals are rotating, and then also torque sensing for how hard you're pushing down on those, those pedals. So that's cool. Right now, this is, this is showing us our trip distance. And if I wanted, I could reset that by holding the minus button there for a couple seconds. There we go, now it's clear. And if I want, I can go use that set button again and it's gonna show me my lifetime trip distance or my odometer, so 4.9 kilometers. Um, it's a great system. Uh, some of my complaints are that the display isn't removable. You know, it's small and it's sleek. It's attached pretty well here but again, it is, is not removable. And it's actually integrated into the, the stem on this bike. You can, however, angle it forward or back, which is really handy to reduce glare, depending on the lighting conditions. And overall, it's just an efficient system. It's something that um, doesn't get really confusing. There's only a few different buttons to use and the display isn't cluttered. So I really appreciate that. Hope this helped you out. If you've got one of these systems and you're trying to figure out how to switch back and forth between miles per hour, kilometers per hour, uh, I've reviewed this bike, the Sahel, uh, as well as several of these other bikes, and you can check them out at electricbikereview.com. I'll see you there.